English conversations in daily life. A ham sandwich. Is there anything to eat? I'm not sure. Check the refrigerator. What's in the fridge? In the refrigerator, there are sausages, bread, ham. Would you like to eat a ham sandwich? Great, that sounds delicious. Is there any mustard? Maybe it's still in the fridge. Oh, sure, it's right here. What else to eat? Would you like some potato chips? Of course, I love them. Time for your bath. It's time for your bath, my princess. But, Mom, I don't smell. You should take a bath every day. Why is that? With a daily bath, your perspiration odor will be reduced greatly. I don't stink. <laughs> If you take a bath, you will smell as pretty as a flower. Really? That's right. I just bought a bottle of rose scented shower gel. Do you want to try it? Yes, I'm going to take a shower now. Remember to wash your hair too. Black screen. My PC isn't working properly. What exactly do you mean? I just see a black screen. What's the problem? I believe I know since this has happened previously. Can you tell me what occurred before? My hard drive has failed. That's unfortunate. It very certainly is. But I'll check with HP first. Are you going to lose all your files? No, I always make a backup of my files. You're so smart. A new hard drive. I took my computer in for repair today. How's it going? They informed me I require a new hard disk. That's unfortunate. How much does a new one cost? It's not too expensive, at about $85. What about the installation fee? No, I can easily remove and replace my hard disk. Are you sure? It's only a few screws. That's quite good. Why should I pay someone else $60 when I can do it? Great. If my hard disk fails, I'll simply phone you. Your email address. Could you please provide your email address? Hello, my email address is bluedog123. Bluedog123 is the answer. Are you certain that's all? Of course. No, it does not. That is insufficient. What exactly do you mean? What is your postal address? 456 Cherry Drive, Pasadena. Okay. So, what is the issue? Blue Dog 123 is merely a street name. You must provide me with the city, state, and zip code. Oh, I see. Blue Dog 123 at yahoo.com is my email address. Time for a nap. I'm going to sleep. Please disconnect the phone. Okay. Would you like me to wake you up in one hour? No, thank you. Allow me to sleep till I wake up. I'll begin supper at 6 p.m. All right. I believe I'll be awake by that time. Even if you're not awake, the smell of food will also wake you up. Do you mean I'll be able to smell the meal cooking? 
You could even have dinner dreams. I don't believe I'll dream of anything. I'm exhausted. Take a good nap. Thinking about his funeral. His funeral was emotional. I agree with your opinion. The son gave a touching tribute to his father. It was also quite long. I believe it lasted approximately 45 minutes. However, it made me very emotional. Me too. I enjoyed it. I'll give a speech similar to that as well. Do you believe my funeral will be attended by anyone? Without a doubt. I believe it will be just the family. You have a large number of acquaintances. They'll be there as well. The elephant. <coughs> oh my goodness! What was that noise you heard? I'm having the flu. I sneezed. You sneezed right next to the phone? Did you hear what I just said? Of course. I was aware of that. I, I thought a jet plane collided with your house. Mm, I sneezed very softly. I'll blow my nose for you and see what happens. All right, I'll believe you if you say so. Just now, I thought there was an elephant in your house. Interesting comparison. Excuse me, but what did you say? I believe I've lost my hearing. I'm going to blow my nose in the bathroom. I'll return as soon as possible. You can have some of my friends. I have a lot of friends. You're a sociable person. How many people do you know? I'm not sure. Maybe a hundred. Wow, that's a lot of pals. Do you have close friends? Without a doubt, I have a large number of best buddies. How many? Twenty-five, I think. Interesting. There is only one best friend in my life. I feel so sorry for you. I'm only pals with a few people. I'm sure you're lonely. I'll introduce you to some of my acquaintances. Thank you. You're so nice. If you cheat, you will die. Have you ever lied to me? Why would I do something like that? Because men always like to cheat on women. As some men do, but I'm not one of them. I'm keeping an eye on you. I don't have any secrets, you know that. If I knew you cheated on me, we would break up immediately. I would never do that because I love you. I'm not a liar or a thief. I will tie you up. I'm not interested in dating anyone other than you. I'm going to cut off your toes one by one. Please, honey, forever. You're the only woman for me. It's a guarantee. Let's not go out. I do not like hanging out. Me too. Why don't you like going out? Because I would like to stay at home to read books and study. You're a hard-working student. How about you? I don't like going out because there are a lot of bad people. Even rude people and drunk people. Rude people can be found anywhere. If you met them, what would you do? I think I'll choose to scold them. If you yell at them, they'll hit you. So, staying at home is the best option. Fill out the form.
Will you have a look at this document? Do you have any issues with it? There are some things that I don't understand. Show me the parts you don't understand. Here, what exactly does MI stand for? The abbreviation MI refers to middle initial. How about MM slash DD slash YY? That stands for month, day, and year. Use of numbers. Can you explain in more detail? All right, if your birthday is January 12, 1987, for example, write 01 slash 12 slash 87. Oh, I see. Make sure to fill out all the information on that form. Don't miss up any part. The Animal Shelter. Here's that pet shop. Let's go and have a look inside. Wow, look at all the animals. Are you going to buy a pet? I'd want to get my son a dog. Your son will be delighted. Yeah, I'm going to get him one of those small dogs. I also like to have a small dog. They're easy to raise and also do not consume too much food. Do you know which one he prefers? Oh sure, I took him there the day before. My son showed me the one he thought was very appealing. Are you going to buy it today? Yeah, my son wanted to take it home the day before. I'm curious what your son will name the dog. Is it raining? How is the weather today? I'm not sure. I just woke up. Why don't you go outside and look? Okay, okay. It doesn't look very nice outside today. I think it's going to rain later. Why do you say so? The sky is overcast. Is it now raining? And now it's not raining, but I think it's going to rain. How do you know that? The roadway is not wet. Hmm, I wish it wasn't rainy today. I plan to sunbathe at the beach. You should bring an umbrella. It's so hot. I can't believe it's so hot today. I've been sweating non-stop. Right? It's still only the morning. That implies it's going to become hotter. I think we have to turn on the air conditioner. Control the air conditioner here. Oh my god, it's not working. Can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. Did you call a repairman? I already called the repairman. When will he arrive? He's really busy. Next week, he said. A snowman. Well, winter has really come. Do you like winter? Yes, I enjoy playing in the snow. Me too. We built a large snowman last year. What size was it? It stood seven feet tall. How long did you have to build? It took us the entire day. Did you give him a nose? Of course. We stuck a carrot in the middle of his head for a nose. Can I participate in building a snowman this year? The ATM. I'm on my way to the bank. What exactly do you need to do? I need to make a cash withdrawal. How are you going to go about doing that? I'll simply use the ATM. What is it? It's an ATM automated teller machine. How do you use the ATM? 
But first of all, put my card in the slot and enter my PIN. Okay, then choose withdrawal. Sure. And it gives you money? It does give me money, but it's my own money. Oh, really? I assumed it was free money. Let's move the blue bin. I need a little help about where to dump my trash bags. Put them in the parking lot dumpster near the parking spaces. What day do they pick the trash up? Trash day is Wednesday, which is tomorrow. I'll just take it out to the parking lot dumpster in the morning tomorrow. No, you don't. What exactly do you mean? You wake up late every morning and rush to work. Do you think I'll forget? You'll remember, but you'll be too busy to do it. All right, I'll take out the trash now. Remember to sort the garbage. Digital TV. Are you ready? What? Why be ready? Get ready for a big changeover. I don't know what you're talking about. The country is transitioning to digital TV. I got it. Did you purchase the converter? No, I don't need a converter because I purchased a digital television. How much did it cost? A 13-inch screen was just approximately $120. Does it receive digital channels? Yes, I have six Korean channels, but no English. Just shoot me. You look so beautiful today. Thanks, you too. What is it that makes you so happy today? Oh, I'm always happy, and I think everyone really loves life. Have you heard anything about the pilot? You mean the one who stole the little plane? Yes, he stole an aircraft in Canada and went into the United States. Did they apprehend him? Of course. He landed on a highway after two U.S. fighter planes pursued him for an hour. Did he crash? No, he simply landed and walked to a nearby restaurant. Did the cops know why he flew into the United States? His life was a mess. He was hoping to get shot down by a fighter plane. Crazy indeed. Don't be a racist. The police need our assistance in locating a robber. How do you know that? A bank heist has been reported on the news. Do they have any idea what the thief looks like? He's six feet tall, 200 pounds, and has black hair. He's around 30 years old. What race is he? They didn't say anything. The race is no longer talked about on television. If they talked about race, they would be seen as racist. But how do we recognize someone if we don't know what race they are? Just bear it. Then they shouldn't inform us if the thief is male or female because it would be sexist. Use a tissue. I do not use your sleep to wipe I your nose. But I don't have a tissue. Then go to the restroom and look for a tissue. I didn't have time to go there. But your sleeve is not a tissue. But mom, all my friends wipe their noses with their sleeves. Doing so is not clean. I noticed dad wiping his nose on his sleeve the other day. I'll speak with your father about it. I'm sure dad used to do it all the time when he was my age. Your father was a fine young man. How do you know that? Were you also his mother? Two little ones.
I'm very worried. About what? I'm about to get married. Congratulations! That's a joyful thing. Why worry? I know, but you know, marriage entails a lot of responsibilities. Yes, when you have a family, you also have to take care of your wife. I also have to take care of our children. Do you intend to start a family? Of course, we would like to have a boy and a girl. That sounds fantastic. But we don't have the money. I understand why you're worried. But is it art? What do you think of these pictures? I found the pictures to look normal, nothing outstanding. Me too. Do you know the price of this painting? I don't know. It's probably not too expensive. No, this painting costs one million dollars. <gasps> What? Are you kidding? No, this is a painting by a famous artist. Unbelievable! Last week, I went to an exhibition. I saw a painting of a jar filled with pencils, but according to the artist, the jar was both full and empty. But it was packed with pencils. How could he claim that it was empty? Artists have a unique perspective on the world. Have you ever seen any of Picasso's paintings? Certainly, he is well known all around the world. I still can't believe it. In third grade, I drew similar artworks. Where have they gone? They may be worth millions of dollars. Life is for living. What is the point of this? I don't get what you mean. Of being alive. I'm not sure. We live and then. We're all eventually going to die and be forgotten. We've got to be here for a reason. Maybe we're just here to have a good time. Then why am I not having fun? Because you're overthinking it. Do you mean I should stop thinking? Stop wondering what the point is. All right, I'll think of happy things. All you have to do is be patient. The fun doesn't happen every five minutes. Tough choice. Beer is a very addictive substance. Cigarettes are too. Which of the two do you prefer? What exactly do you mean? They will offer you a beer or smokes when you die and you go to paradise. Can I only choose one of the two? Of course, nothing is perfect, even in heaven. Oh, that's a tough choice. What's so difficult about it? Of course, I choose smokes. However, smokes taste much better with a cold beer. Well, you can't have it all. I'm not sure whether I want to go to your heaven. Patch it or sew it. The front pocket of my jeans has a hole in it. Pen should not be carried in your pocket. Yesterday, a pen slipped through my trousers and landed on my shoe. Fortunately, it wasn't a sharp knife. Who keeps a razor sharp knife in their pocket? Of course, criminals. In any case, I need to repair the hole. You can either stitch it or use an iron-on patch. Please explain this patch to me. The patch contains glue. The hot iron melts the adhesive, allowing the patch to adhere to the garment. That appears to be a lot easier than sewing. Yes, it is. The adhesive, however, washes out after approximately ten washings. What's so funny? Do you have any funny jokes? I'm terrible at remembering jokes. I can't either. They pass through one ear and out the other. Who comes up with all these joke stories? 
I'm not sure. Every day, though, there must be a hundred new ones. Yes, but only in English. I'm curious whether every language contains jokes. Certainly, people all across the world like funny jokes. What do you believe people laugh over the most? I believe the majority of jokes are about women. Oh, you're serious? I believe the majority of jokes are about males. Spanish spoken here. You're really fortunate. What makes you say that? You're fluent in two languages. My English isn't great, to be sure. No one is fluent in English. Perhaps I'll be the first. I've been considering studying Spanish. Learning Spanish is simple. I'd be delighted to teach you. How much time will it take me to learn? I believe you'll just need a year or two. When can we start? Ahora. I mean, right now. It's the only Earth we've got. Do you know what today is? Today's April twenty second. Today is not an ordinary day. Do you have a birthday or an anniversary? No, today's Earth Day. What is it? It serves as a yearly reminder to care for our world. Oh, you mean we should reuse and recycle everything? Of course, we must think green. Save water and eliminate the use of plastic bags. What about taking shorter showers? That's a smart idea because showers use a lot of water. From now on, I will only shower for twenty minutes or less. No time for rhyme. Poetry is a waste of time. I'm not aware of anyone that enjoys it. However, there are some pretty good poems. Yeah, those poems that rhyme are easy to remember. Like, one, two, buckle my shoe. Although poems are out of favor now, individuals continue to compose poetry. And nobody earns any money doing it. William Shakespeare was a poet. Did he get wealthy as a result of his poetry? Most likely not. Poems are similar to songs. That's correct, but songs contain music. Songs would be unlistenable if there was no music to accompany them. Dumb and happy. How clever are you? No, I'm not too smart. I'm just a normal person. Have you ever taken an intelligence test? No, I've never done it. I just knew that I received A's and B's in school. I wish I was more intelligent. Don't be a jerk. What exactly do you mean? If you're going to make a wish, make it that you're extremely wealthy or famous. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a super smart person? Must be very lonely. Why do you say that? Because no one understands what you're saying if you're super smart. Live from NBC Four. I missed the TV news last night. Were there any events yesterday? Nothing new. What will the weather be like this weekend? I'm not sure. I change channels whenever the weather is on. What's the most prominent news in the newsletter? A famous actress was arrested for driving without a license. Anything else? A certain actor married a woman who was young enough to be his daughter. Oh, it's all about showbiz. Any other news? In a store, a bull pursued a guy. Wasn't there any mention of Octomom? Obviously, she plans to employ a babysitter to care for her eight infants.
Life after death. What do you think about death? It's just a normal law of the universe. I mean, will you be buried or cremated? My wife and I are going to be cremated. Will you be buried next to each other? No, our ashes will be scattered in the sea. Are you sure you don't want to be buried? A coffin is both expensive and takes up too much room. Yes, but it'll be at a cemetery where your children will be able to pay their respects. Children rarely pay their respects to their parents in a cemetery. I think so too. A cemetery is for the dead, not for the living. We believe our sons will come to see us any time they go to the beach. Wipe your feet. You were barefoot, right? Yes, but I wiped my feet. What are those muddy footprints on the floor? I'm not sure. It's not my footprint. Well, who has not washed their feet and entered the house? Here, look at my feet. They're so clean. That's right. It's clean because you've wiped your feet on this mat. All right, I'll go fetch the vacuum cleaner. Don't vacuum it now. Do you really want me to clean up the mud? Wait for it to dry. Vacuuming will be easy. I'll be more cautious next time. Mother's Day. What are you gifting your mother? Why give mom a gift? Did you forget Mother's Day is on Sunday? Is it this Sunday? Sure. Oh my God! I thought it was next Sunday. It's best to prepare gifts now. I'm going to make her a lovely card. Is that all? Of course. Your mother raised you, and all you give her is a card. Gifts don't matter. My mom knows that I love her. A new flag. I dislike our national flag. Why do you say so? It's too similar to other flags. Many flags have stripes. A flag should be visually appealing. How should our flag look? It should feature a beautiful woman. Are you kidding? You don't like attractive women. Of course I do. However, not on our flag. Every country's flag should include a beautiful woman. You can't go to battle with a flag that has a lady on it. Work up an appetite. Today is a busy morning. What exactly did you do? I watered every plant. Do you plant a lot of trees? That's right. Then I washed clothes. It's quite time-consuming. I went for a stroll with the dog. I'm sure he had a good time on his walk. I did a thorough cleaning of the entire house. You're really hardworking. After that, I cooked lunch. I'm sure you were very hungry at that time. Dialing for a dollar. My house phone does not have long distance service. How do you make long distance phone calls? I have a business card. From whence did you acquire that? I buy them at the post office. How much does it cost? A one dollar for one hundred minutes. It's just a cent per minute. It's a fantastic deal. However. You must call a large number of numbers. How many? First, you call seven digits, then ten, and then ten more. Oh no! I believe I'll maintain my long distance service. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.